Many hellos. You're tuned in to the Rewind Guys podcast, the show where we watch, discuss, and rate old movies, new movies, movies that defined our childhoods and others we've never seen or even heard of before. This week has it all. Love, loss, and Pierce Brosnan with a sweet Irish accent. Because we're talking about The Foreigner. So put your feet up, take a load off, and don't forget the popcorn. Because the show is about to begin. Quite a good scene, isn't it? One man crazy, three very sane spectators. Welcome back to the Rewind Guys podcast. I'm your host, Patrick Andrews, sitting next to Mike Andrus. What's up? Russell Andrews. Welcome to Walmart. And Isaiah Page. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This week, we're discussing The Foreigner. This is an action thriller filmed in the UK, released October 13th, 2007, has a runtime of one hour and 53 minutes, and is rated R. This movie had a budget of $35 million and made a box office of $145.4 million. This movie stars Jackie Chan as Quan. Just give me the name of someone in the IRA. Pierce Brosnan as Liam Hennessy. This is Liam Hennessy. How may I help you? And Orla Brady as Mary. What if he doesn't find the bombers the Accords dead? And politically so is he. This movie was directed by Martin Campbell. Russell, this is your pick, so please tell us a little bit more about The Foreigner. Okay, well, first of all, it's 2017, not 2007, but that's okay. Oh, you know, I, have, I have 2017 you written down. Off by 10 years, and you uh, yeah, looked at it. Uh, yeah, I did. I, you know what? I just didn't want to forget the seven. That's all. So yeah, I'll read the synopsis here from Netflix, but I'm... I'm Changing it a bit to make it better, because I think they could use some improvements. So right, it says, uh, fucking Netflix. after his daughter is killed by terrorists, a very attractive, uh, mature Jackie Chan <laughs> seeks the identities of those responsible and travels to Ireland to take vengeance. Ooh, sounds exciting. Especially the Jackie Chan part. The handsome Jackie handsome. Chan part. All right, so I'm excited to do this because two of us here are first time watchers, which I think is amazing. Because this movie is, I'm not trying to give away my rating, but this movie's pretty good. Um, and also, I'm excited because this is our first major title. This is like a milestone of the podcast. Okay. Is uh, it? Yes. Okay. It might You're not be. Me, none of the other movies we did stand up to this one. Ooga Boog is close. But <laughs> um, I, I will say, like, this isn't the biggest budget. But I mean, I think so far of all we've reviewed, this made the most in the box what, what office. What was the budget again? The budget was $35 million. Oh, my God. So it's not that bad. It's half of Food Fight. I know. <laughs> it's half of Food Fight. It's insane. Fight. That's sad. But yeah, it's so only half as good as Food Fight, though. Ooh. Oh, throwing shade. And that one half is Jackie Chan, I'm assuming, right? Oh, my God, yes. Okay, so so here's the thing. And, yes, yeah, so we have, we have like, A-list actors. We have a seasoned director behind the helm here. I mean, this movie is just produced with success in mind. Here, here's the thing. Okay, I have to say. Jackie Chan is awesome, right? Of and course. Pierce Brosnan is pretty good. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, remember, he was a James yeah. Bond. Okay, first you know, of all, yes. You know, thank I thought you. he was very good at I think Pierce Brosnan, as an actor, is extremely underrated. He is a fantastic actor. And whether you know it or not, he's in a shit ton of movies. He's he in, is. like, obviously, I'm sure most I people see. know him as James Bond. I see a lot yeah. of people. stuff, and I'm always like, oh, shit. Well, right, and it's a lot James of people probably go to Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> exactly. But he's in shit like Mars Attacks. Mama he was Mia. in The World's End, which you haven't seen Mama yet, Mia. Mike, because, I... you know, you're a loser. Wow. Oh, that's <laughs> <really sad. laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Like, okay, <laughs> my next choice has been decided. <laughs> like, I haven't oh, seen it yet, but I believe he's in Mamma Mia as well. Yes, he is in Mamma Mia. And uh, yes, he was a Bond. He was in Dante's Peak. He's in everything. Oh, and yeah, I think, that's right. And I, oh, love, that's a good I love that movie. Yes. Oh, maybe watching it now, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, maybe. I don't <laughs> oh my God. It sucks going back and watching these movies for a lot of reasons. So too. far, I think we've noticed the podcast is a little bit of a curse. Oh. It makes us go back and be so analytical about movies. And we end up not liking the movies we like. Yeah. It's uh, like you watch it the second time and you're like, why the hell did I like that? Yeah. <laughs> it's not I have, bad. I have a question here. Um, okay. So this did get decent 
reviews and scores online. No, I didn't look. But here's the deal, right? Like, its meta score is 55%. I think that's really sad. I I think I get it just because it kind of is a a little bit of a generic action movie. Well, like, the the plot isn't mm. anything... That is like new and exciting. I it's think kind of you know, almost has a feel of like this yeah. is a, a TV show where I'm coming in at the late second half of the season. Okay, and no one told me anything what happened in the first three episodes. Like, <laughs> well, okay. It almost has that feel to it a little bit. I think that could be where some people are coming. But like, they give you everything by the end of the movie that you would need. Yes, just- thank you. Because I'm watching this movie, and I'm not gonna lie. Up until the end, I feel like everything was over my head. And, and maybe maybe it's just me. I know how I can be with movies, okay? <laughs> it's one of those things but, where they let you guess throughout the movie until you get there. And they see, like, see I, I, I was right. You're but, just like, well, fuck, I didn't see that coming. I guess. And don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with movies having, like, the big reveal at the end and whatnot. But, like, I feel like a lot of this took so long that I'm watching this and I'm like, am I missing shit? Am I just that dumb? And, and maybe I am. We'll get into it. I'll find out, you know, what you guys got from this movie. But I also wondered if it's maybe because we're seeing Jackie Chan in a different light. You know, granted... I'm not. Actually, what's up? What's funny is I've complained about this a few times before where actors that are very famous and recognizable, I have a hard time being immersed or believing them as their character. Okay. Did not have that for one, even one second with well, Jackie Chan. I mean, which, is, like, which is odd. But I wonder if a lot of this has to do with seeing him kind of out of his element. And the reason why I say that is, first of all, he played the character perfectly he did but i want to say here's here's the problem with me anyway i'm so used to him being in like stuff like uh shanghai noon tuxedo operation oh condor even rumble yeah. in the Bronx. the thing is that even though these are action movies he's very lighthearted, very slapsticky yeah. and he's just he just kind of brings that kind of level of kind of happy-go-lucky even when he seems he's always a happy-go-lucky guy and when he is in this movie he is so fucking depressing yeah uh as he got older you know obviously he there's a lot of stunts that he can't do. And oh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I saw this interview a few years ago where he was talking about how, you know, he wanted to be more known now for dramatic roles and not just that, like, kung fu guy. And Because and he, he can't do so much anymore. Well, yeah, but the thing is, he pulls it off so good. But I just wonder, like, if maybe that's what throws people off. You know, like, maybe maybe, maybe people I mean, are like, oh, my God, Jack and Tan. He's doing stunts, and I'm like, he looks like he's about to break a hip. <laughs> Like, really? like well, I'll say this oh, though. Like, 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 I think it was meant to be that way because he's old. Well, the right, movie right, right, too. right. Like, he can still put up a fight. Oh yeah, he can. Hundred percent. Dad, you really need to go faster. Where he driving you to the dance? He's rented a limo. So he won't drive you. Limos come with drivers. So stop worrying. <laughs> It's a nice dress. You'll be very pretty. I want you to like it. Let's get into this. So we are outside a college where Quan, played by Jackie Chan, is waiting to pick up his daughter. And apparently there's some big dance and she's got to make it to this dress shop. She needs a dress. Yeah, I thought that was weird. Yeah, because I think she has a dress picked out. Okay. She, I think when she got in the car, she showed her dad. So this is the dress. She also said something along the lines of there's only like two left. Yeah. So oh. she wants to get there before they're gone. No, I have a also, question. I wasn't paying too, that much attention at this part, but I assumed it was a high school because. Yeah. Why would, it, seems, why would there be a dance at a college? Yep. Nope. 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 And she no, seems no. so young. Like they played her off as kind of like younger yes. than I think she was supposed to be. I thought it was a high school. So I rewound it. <laughs> oh, and it like says, the rewind guy yes. you are. Like the rewind, yes, like the yeah. rewind guy I am. I looked on the little like school sign plaque. It is a college. But I mean, yeah, I, I'm weird. hoping that I'm not saying this confidently and fucking it up. But I wait, swear wait, to God. Wait, 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 hold on though. I'm I'm not very worldly here. But in like they're in like England or something like that, right? Yes. Yeah. Don't they? They're London. Don't they go to college like at 16 or 17? Oh, do they? Something like that. I think they do. I, think, I have no I idea. I think that's like their we version are all of high just school. Dumb Americans. <laughs> I mean, yes. No, that's true. Okay, yeah, I have no I'm idea. I'm not completely, like, positive, but I've heard something about that. Okay, well, yeah, all I know is the sign uh, on the school had said something, something college, because I, I didn't think it was a college either, because you're right, she didn't seem, like, yeah. super this, old or whatever. Yeah, but. this seems like the typical, like, prom talk. Yeah, especially, like, the way that he treated her was, like, kind of, like, overprotective if yeah. she was, like, 
in her twenties or something. Okay, well, yeah. well, well, yeah. But once we find out what happened to the rest of his well, family, I true. can totally understand yeah, I, that. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, they they get to the shop and and she just cannot wait. She's got to run out of the car while he's still in the road uh, looking for a parking spot. And she's just gonna run and get the dress, and he's trying to get a spot. And some <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong here, but didn't this guy? literally like speed around Jackie Chan's yeah, car just to try to get the spot just to yeah. try to get the spot and then he's going to come out like a douchebag right? once he backs into uh, Jackie, Jackie Chan totally caused that accident yeah first of all how was he planning to parallel park in that way <laughs> you don't do, you, you got to pull up past and then back yeah. in and no. he's just trying to pull in i don't think it was going to work that is true but i see lots 100%, of people no i'm i'm serious Jackie Chan caused that accident well, i don't remember his character's name but Quan Quan uh the dude first off if someone pulls around you aggressively like that and they start backing him automatically. You can't just go in too. Like he well, wasn't paying attention. He didn't see him. Plus, he, you know, Asian drivers. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh. How dare you? You love him. Why are you making fun of him? <laughs> like, just, from throwing, you know, showing love to a uh, throwing shade. Come you on. always hurt the ones you love. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. So yeah. So so while he he's arguing with this guy, which only goes on for literally a split second, when kaboom! Does the motorcycle blow up? Is that the deal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And apparently this was supposed to be an attack on a bank? Yes. Bank. Where yeah. the hell's the bank? Bank's right, right next, next door to the dress shop. Is um, it? So, yeah. Uh, that's, well, for like, until they said it was an attack on a bank, I'm like, why the fuck do they blow up a dress shop? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> right? And then I just took well, it, it like... It's like a bank slash dress shop. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean... The I, only if, currency if, exchange there is dresses. If yes. it's an act oh. of terrorism, I mean, I guess, if you, especially if you're just trying to make a statement, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it was just a busy street, a you know? Statement. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Shortly thereafter, there is, uh, there's a call that's put into this re- news Paris reporter. No, I don't know if it was the police station or whatever, or blah, blah, blah. I thought it was a police station at first, too, but it's definitely, um... It's like a report. Or a police call a, center. It's like a, oh, no, it's a... It's a like a journalist's office, as far as I can was tell. It? Yeah, yeah, it's like Wait. some sort of news station or, or or something like that. Yeah, um was it? Yeah, because I do. I'm watching this, and I, at you first I'm like, I have no idea. Who's I was, getting I was this also co- kind of annoyed because the, the guy went there and he's taking these pictures. Yes, I was like, dude, you're taking none of these pictures you're taking can go in the paper or right. go even on like any reputable website for our articles. Like he's taking like that lady had her guts hanging out and he's taking photos <laughs> of it. It's like you can't put that anywhere. At least not anywhere you're putting news. No. You're, you're taking you know, crappy some, pictures. Some snuff sites, though. Well, ma- yeah, but I mean... I, like, I mean, actually, we don't know what website he works for. It's like, he's getting tips about okay, bombings. Okay. Like, yeah, you know. We've got right. some good pictures for you here. So, I, I don't know much <laughs> about how... get in with an agency. I don't know how much of this chan. works anyway, but I mean, like, archive purposes, and we've all seen books of, like, tragedies happening yeah. and whatnot, and there's, like, I've very never seen gruesome. a book in my life. Well, I mean, I've heard he stories. Only watches of movies. It's been a while. He only watches movies. Is there a movie about this book you're talking about? <laughs> okay, first of all, he doesn't even watch movies. He watches the movies because we make him watch movies. I listen to reviews about movies about books. <laughs> See, he's the I'm guy. Confused. He's the guy in the podcast who doesn't watch movies who has the most unbiased opinion out of all of us. So this works. It's Actually, so he's the balance for our group. I, I think your opinion is biased. It's based on a book. Movie. Yes. Oh, really? It yeah. is. Called The Chinaman. Not. Yes. Is that why they keep calling him the Chinaman? I think so. Yeah, but obviously that's, like, not a very nice term to use, so they can't, like, be like, in theaters, the Chinaman on the TV, (laughs) you know, like, that would be offensive to some people. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, so... That'd be a little fucked up. So after this agency of news reporter whatever gets word of this, the guy, yeah, he shows up, he takes pictures, and this is where we see Jackie Chan, he's holding his daughter, obviously she's she's dead, and, and it's so depressing, and this just starts his deep depression throughout this entire movie and i'm sorry guys but if this does not jerk some tears out of you you are like, all jerk some, something I was say. you're all some heartless piece <laughs> of shit from all the movie from the movies that i remember from da- the jackie chan's in i didn't know he could play a part like this i was like oh my god i feel horrible i know so yeah so that really jackie well. chan has the saddest face he does <laughs> he really does especially like i say when you you're, you're so used to him being so smiley and happy yeah. and i think that's why it comes across so like so dramatic and it like, really hits so we learn makes me say <laughs> we learned that 12 died and like what like three times that were injured or Hell, something he could have dropped his ice cream on the ground made that face and i would have cried <laughs> 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 that should have been the whole movie. It could have been like an art piece. Yeah, the bomb goes off. He's far enough away, it doesn't hurt him, but like it startles him, drops his ice cream. He's like, vengeance. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Give me the names. Did so- we just write the sequel? <laughs> yes. What's the time? Almost dead. Mm. Ten more minutes. Mm. Yeah. I'll miss my flight. Let's stay here. 
Door locked. <laughs> Blinds down. Room service for a week. Mm -hmm. Sound good. And your work, Deputy Minister? An acute case of food poisoning. <laughs> you need to work on your excuses, darling. Liam Hennessy is now getting a phone call and he answers it and it has to do about the, this bombing. And I'll be honest with you, if you guys want to fill in some key details as I progress, because I didn't pick up on any of this shit well, as the movie has, goes. It has to do with the bombing because the phone call that was made is this new NRA group. Yes. Or IRA. I, I, IRA. 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 Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm agreeing. I'm just, yeah, sure. This IRA, new IRA group that uh, is using to make a statement. Pierce Brosnan's character, Liam, gets told of this, makes this big deal like it's not that he has no idea who it is, doesn't what? know anything about it. Right, because he used oh, to be part question. of it. And he yeah, because yeah, right. he used what to be a part of it. What position does he have? Oh man, he's like uh, <laughs> I don't know, like what? assistant ambassador or something like that. I don't, it's, it's high up. It's really like, high up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like under whatever the main guy is, I think, pretty much. But and this is the thing that I, I think really kind of kills this movie for me is I fucking hate politics. Yeah. And, I actually enjoyed, and it's foreign politics. Yes, and so that we don't really know about. Right. Yeah, I I had no clue what was going on. I also know nothing about the IRA, so and, I was like, <laughs> Pierce Brosnan played a pretty good uh, Irishman, though. Oh my god. Okay, so here's the thing. Oh, well, I'll get into that in just one second, because like, okay, is this gonna be this movie where we just gush on the characters here? No, no. Hold, hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll get I'll to gush him. On Jackie Chan. <laughs> we'll, we'll get the we'll get the Pierce Brosnan. We'll get the Pierce, Brosnan. Jackie Chan we'll get the Pierce Brosnan in just one second. But you're absolutely right. I mean, we got politics now. It's foreign politics. I I'm not following really any of this, but it's it's right. literally a revenge story. Yeah. With this really heavy political story that's kind of like weaved in yeah i don't i mean i don't know much about this but i know that there is a long history of ireland and england just not getting along and having lots of like bombing wars and yeah lots of stuff and everything okay yeah because i where they've created they've now created peace and brazen was in part of the ira originally and now he's in this position as like a peace ambassador to help you know yeah, so Keep it doesn't go back to the over. old times where they're just fighting right. each other. Pretty okay. Much. But I kind of felt that it was something that he was behind that was either going to make him look good or put him in a higher position of power. And also, this is something that um, apparently he was using to kind of get some people pardoned. Who are these people? Well, Probably see, now we're slightly jumping from... forward. Well, well okay. That, 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 that's all right. That's all right. But those people well, okay. so, are previous bombers from the IRA, so... But I just, I was so lost that I know they had something to do with Pierce Brosnan, obviously, and that's why he wanted them out. I have no clue, even toward the end of this movie, who the hell those people were. So how are we going to go about this? Because you jumped ahead a bit. Are we going to jump around a lot with this one? No, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll keep it on track. It's just this, we're already at the scene where... <sighs> because at this point, because it's like... We don't know at this point that he used this. This is later than we find right. this out. Right. I mean, you know, I'll be honest with you. I, it, it's pretty... They, here's the thing. If I can pick this shit up, anybody can pick this well, up. Well, see, I wasn't sure it was him. I'm saying that either this is a political move, but it's like at the same time as the people, more people got introduced in the movie. I'm saying there's like, there are certain showed. points where I'm like, this could have been... I was thinking it was this person that popped up and was like, oh, it's probably them. This is the reason why this is happening. They're just playing it off really oh, well. Did they, Maybe. So it's cut to... Pierce Brosnan scene, but had they shown the scene where the bomber got back to his apartment yet? I think that was... Yeah, I think that's kind of in between oh, somewhere. Oh, after the he, guy was taking was, pictures. It was so fucked up when he's like so excited, busts through the door, walks in the living room, the news is like, how many did I get? How many did I get? New high school! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, but no, it's crazy Dude, how people can be playing? like that. Yeah. It's insane. Let me touch on Liam Hennessy here for Ooh, a second. By, uh, played by Pierce Brosnan. And I, I fell into the same problem I had the first time I watched this movie is seeing Pierce Bra or rather hearing Pierce Brosnan yes. with a heavy high Irish oh my god a heavy Irish, Irish accent it was, thing, right? he does it perfectly like well, it's great that's like at first I'm like okay I'm like no this sounds bad and I'm like does it sound good and then I I don't have a lot of experience right. with I, accents, I realized, like, so I, heard I was the like accent, you know what, I'll just leave it alone and I was like I don't know if this is good. Then I was a few seconds. I was like, I don't know what an Irish accent sounds like. Well, here's like, the thing. Exactly. Well, I'm like, I don't. I wouldn't know. His accent is a really believable Irish no, character. Hundred percent. So I think he does it perfectly. And I could only imagine that they probably had somebody on set who was maybe coaching it along a little bit. But this is one of those where it takes me a good half a movie to really get behind him being Irish because all I'm seeing is Pierce Brosnan with an Irish accent. Ah. Uh. 
And that's I mean, the problem. He, Pierce Brashen is what? He's British? Yes. Yeah. And so, like, yeah, I'm, I'm just so used to him being him that when I seen this, I'm like, he's believable and he plays a great bad guy and his accent is is fine. He does a great job, but it's just I like, mean, I have a hard time. Like, he's played an American part too in another movie, which throws me off because like, oh, I can't do this. It's like, <laughs> I know it's good, but I'm just like, I can't do this. Let's get back on track. So he get, he gets a phone call about the bombing and here's the thing and I think this is why and, and I don't know if, I'm not like a, a huge movie buff or whatever, but I kind of seen all this as like foreshadowing. Like there's a bomb going off, Something's obviously going on, and he's the first one getting called. So I'm like, yeah, I think you're he's the first one getting this. called because you know he was he's, part of something before. And, and well, he's so in, basically that's he's in charge with of their dealings with the NRA. And what yeah. they did when they contacted the news is they gave a code that basically gave it away that it was an NRA bomb. Uh, <laughs> IRA, IRA. Yeah. 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 the National Rifle <laughs> Association. God, you said Those it once. Now I can't stop thinking it. Ugh. This is going to derail the whole thing. <laughs> it, it, we're gonna say, I feel like we're going to say NRA so much in this one accident. But um, I totally I. But I okay, lost, well, I lost my train well, of thought. Wait, let me let me interject here for a second, then, because here's the thing. And the, but right off the bat, we're already introduced to the fact that he's an ass, and yeah. he's not to be trusted because he's cheating on his wife. And they, yeah, they let right, you know that right at the beginning. Right when like he's introduced, it's like this guy's a prick. Exactly. You know, a prick. Yes. Yeah. But me. to be fair, you know, like he fair. says throughout the movie, he's like, I used to, you know, kind of represent the IRA in that same kind of violent way, but now I'm trying to do it in a peaceful, more political way instead of right. just killing also, people, blowing stuff up. Right, right. Throughout the whole movie, right up until the end, kind of kind of like jumping ahead a little bit, he really doesn't know who did it or doesn't know anything. Yes, yes. Yeah. He legitimately so like, doesn't. I, I, I mean, assume he, he, he did. He's behind it. He's behind it, but he didn't really want to be a part of it. Right. He's like, like hey, just blow up some see, stuff. No people. that you keep your uh, fingers out of it. You just tell someone to do something. It makes it hard to track back to you. But this is also what fucks it up for him, though, because whoever is getting all this set up, it's kind of even, I think, out of their hands where these guys are just going fucking like balls ass crazy, blowing lots of shit up. Yeah. And he's like, look, They've gone I, rogue. Yeah, pretty much. And he's like, look, I, this was kind of a plan, but I just kind of wanted to scare people. And you are killing people. Yeah. Because um, that's what the old Liam would have done. I guess what I was the point I was trying to make that was like he doesn't come across as the actual bad guy. In a sense, he almost comes across as like a middleman to the bad guy. Yeah, I can feel that. It's like he's he's kind of good, he's kind of bad. It's like he's, he's just kind of you know playing. Okay, both yeah, sides. but you still know he's a skis. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know that you you know he's a piece of shit. You can just tell. But um, how many times are we gonna call him a piece of shit? I I hope at least a few more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> at least. Now here's another thing that it, well, oh my god, this was confusing as hell to me, and I want to know how it was to you guys. So shortly after he's in this meeting. And I might be missing a scene that I will be getting back to because uh, I'm not 100% sure how this goes down in sequence. But he's in this meeting with his other, like, associates. See, this is where I will realized, oh, yeah, he is the bad guy in a sense. Because it's like, why is he still in contact with all of these old IRA? Well, I think to be, <laughs> yeah, but I, I think to be diplomatic, I think he's trying to be like the buffer to keep things, yeah, you know, like, all right, guys, I know you want to do this, but let me help make it beneficial for you to keep things calm and peaceful. Yeah. So, but he he's having this 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 meeting with these guys, and I don't I don't know what's being said. Then they're talking. I even had to make a note of it. Cause I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? He's talking about Semtex. Oh, Semtex, yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, by the way. I, I didn't learn until almost the damn end of the movie. The bombas. Yes, is, is what the explosives are made oh, out of. See, I just, I knew How did you not was. catch that? The moment he said that, I'm like, oh, bombs. Yeah. Because I, I don't know shit about bombs. I don't know I, shit I, about I, bombs either, but it was obvious. You mean you've okay. never Googled how to make a bomb out of Semtex? You've never Come on. <laughs> No, because here's the thing. When <laughs> here, okay, Russell. first of all, let me but say, whenever, whenever I hear anything about a bomb in a movie, it's always C4, C4, oh, C4 explosives. And you this have one's not like, watched enough movies with explosives. Apparently not. Okay, C4 <laughs> is so 90s. Come on. Apparently. And, and, and Semtex, bombs. Semtex is where it's at because he's talking about this shit and it is over my head. I'm like, what are they talking about? And then maybe you guys can key, key me in on this because he's like, I'm going to check all your dumps. <laughs> well, see, all right. See, well, what, what, I, what is he talking I, about? He's talking about you see, a you stool remember sample. What, you remember the, <laughs> I was just going to say, you remember the prostate exam from Bowler? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bend well, over. I need to check your rectums, everybody. See, what I understood, though, during that meeting, he... Was a NRA member. Or a, a what member? <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah. He's I gone. started this. This is my fault. <laughs> Fuck. 
I haven't been affiliated with the IRA for 30 years. When I was, I fought hard against the violence. I went to prison for what I did and paid my debt. Now I serve the politics of both sides, trying to heal the wounds and bridge the divide. Again, my sincere condolences. But there's nothing I can do. What if your wife and daughter were killed by bomb? I do everything in my power to get justice. So, I've chosen you, Mr. Hennessy. You will tell me who killed my child. Again? I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I know enough about these these movies where it's like, I can assume. Yeah, it's so right. generic that you can be like, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I'm assuming this is what's happening. And then you get to the end and you're like, oh, well, I was right. Yeah. But up until that point, I'm so lost and it's all just assumption because I'm not following any of this political jargon. It's just, it's lost. Yeah. 100%. I mean, they, they sort of switch it because like it first starts out and like the first half of the movie is just kind of focusing on Jackie Chan trying to figure out and get revenge on his daughter. But he, then the just, second half of the movie <clears throat> is more like you see what's really going on with all the political. He starts yes. out, his revenge starts Garbage. out pretty petty. He starts out as a Karen just saying, let me speak to your manager. Yes. Pretty much. And he goes yeah. to, like, he blew up a fucking bathroom. What did he blow up in oh, the bathroom? Okay. okay. I don't know, but it looked, what it looked like was two soda pops or some shit he looked, on he some fucking some string that, uh, and some fucking matches and a rip of cigarette. hard lemonade? Uh, <laughs> like two bottles of that? Just, uh, apparently yeah. Fresca is very is flammable. I don't like, know unless the, he put a liquid, like a different liquid in there. But that's what like, I'm what thinking. What the fuck is that? Oh, why did that not cross my mind? Yeah, because I was, what, I was like, what did he buy that was in those? Like, and that makes so much more sense now because yeah, like he put some sort of like gasoline or yeah. kerosene or something really flammable in there and then set it up with the strings what? and the fire colors so like, that, I thought it was a clever way they did the bomb i thought that was cool yeah so, but that, that was pretty neat when I you're like first that. watching the movie it's almost like how does this guy know how to do this stuff yeah but then later on when you realize that he's like was in previous wars See, like, and had to escape from his country and stuff at that one it right. starts coming together at that one i wasn't really questioning it because i was like i could just you know look yeah i mean you could probably that figure was, that out well when they show him doing the near I mean, Grant, chemistry you... stuff to make things a little bit later i, I was like think, what the hell i was yeah. thinking like yeah. especially that, on the internet we are, wait, I, I believe <laughs> are we getting too off track here no 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 and it's like how did this boomer use the internet that's actually why my assumption was he had previous training because I was like, there's no way he would have known how to okay. Google this. <laughs> First of all, this is typical action movie by the book bullshit. This guy knows a lot of stuff. Oh, he was special ops or whatever the hell. Yeah, of there's course he's honoring. special ops. But he, here's the thing, okay? I, I have problems with that, which I'll get to in just a moment because yeah, you know. we're going to backtrack, let everybody else know what's going on right here so we can kind of get to where we essentially are because... Jackie forward. Chan has been insanely depressed ever since his daughter died, and especially once you learn his backstory of everything else that's happened to this poor fucking guy. I mean, yeah, the, he has nothing left. All he had left in the world is pretty much now, like everything else, taken away from him. I like uh, how he said all he had left, but the girl that's helping him run the restaurant that he, you know, apparently owns is just like there from 100 percent yeah oh he's yeah just like, boom, i love bring her on. she's great she's so nice and caring and then he's just like i'll fucking do this bye and well like, and and ah. i don't here's the thing like i don't think he doesn't have feelings for her or doesn't think of her as like being somebody that's there because she was a hundred percent there for him but yeah. i think for him i mean let's face I mean, it he did leave her the entire restaurant yes i mean he, he yes and he like he's like super generous and nice to her and looking after her but he's also extremely Focus. broken mentally yes exactly life experience right it's like his blood his family what he had left is, is now gone so he he disappears ninja style of course uh gets his van loads it up and, and takes off to the home depot oh yeah well, yeah oh, which i think was just i thought he went somewhere and what was it just outside his restaurant because then the i don't know i think i want to say her name was fam or something fan or fan fan oh, oh, no, wasn't that his Lamb. daughter's name yeah, the woman at the oh, restaurant. Oh, no, was... no, no. I think it's Lamb? Lamb? That's L-A-M? What I mean. That's what I yeah. Said. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. But yes, so so he he leaves at the oh, restaurant. Oh, the lady she, at the restaurant? Yeah. yeah. So Lamb. Lamb. So, Lamb. Well, he gets in his van and takes off. I thought he drove quite a distance, but I guess it's just the backside of the restaurant or something. I thought he did a trip to like the no, hardware yeah, store and then drove a... back to get other stuff and then... Oh, yeah. is that what he did? He took off. Yeah, yeah oh. because I can see that he seems, you know, 
Dude like the he, kind he, of he like do it yourself or kind of guy. Because he so she, yeah, she yeah, he came, probably has like a little shed or something. Yeah, because she yeah. came upstairs okay. and was talking to him. She turns around, he's gone. She looks out the window. All of a sudden, Van goes, "Wee!" I wait. Right, that right. scene like, is an important lap. scene. I wanted to mention that scene. Why? Why? So like she walks in on him in his apartment, burning old family photos. Yes. Like, so probably I'm assuming the only photos he has of his deceased daughters, and obviously she's thinking he's gonna commit suicide or something he probably so she's oh, like yeah. i'm not leaving i'm gonna sleep on the couch i'm staying here and she starts going over to his closet and she's grabbing pillows and stuff out turns around he's fucking gone right that dude moves <laughs> now like she turns around looks at the chair he's gone she looks up at the door that's open and she hears the car starts like dude they were on the second story have what? you ever seen jackie chan properly use stairs no <laughs> no he probably slid down the banister yes and was out I was like, like, like there was like this he walked out of the room like a ninja and then just bolted. Yeah. I just thought That's what that he was, does. Like, it's signature Jackie Chan. Matching. Very much. <laughs> yeah, it's matching. So yeah, so he after numerous phone call attempts to try and talk to uh Mr. Hennessy, who just he did get through one time, but just kind of blew him off and he is looking for the names. All he wants to know are yeah. the names of the people who are committing these bomb the bombings so he can How much you know, did he offer to the police in a bribe for like or like a uh, reward it was for 20, the names? Twenty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because he tried to bribe the police for the names, and of course, they don't know. And actually, I was surprised. I really thought Liam knew the names, but he legitimately didn't. I knew who was behind it, but yeah. he didn't know the names. He no. knew who was kind of behind it, because like, obviously, he's kind of behind that's it. it. That's how you do it. You tell someone to do it, and they right. take care and they tell two friends, like, friends, and they tell two friends, <laughs> yes. and so on. But he, and then here's the thing: so you can't track yeah, nobody. Know, it's a podcast. Tell your friends about the podcast. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> tell your friends so they can tell their friends. So they can tell their friends so they can tell their friends. Tell their friends. Tell your friends. Tell me. Do it. So he does show up at the office and he's trying to get this information from Liam, who's just not giving it up. And this is the first bombing he does with the string and, and the pop bottles filled with some sort of combustible. That was a unique bomb. I like that. Uh, that, that was, was cool. pretty cool. That's a bomb I've never seen done and, before. And it was the first one to scare to scare Liam into like, hey, give me the names. I want the names. Well, yeah, because he's kind of he's playing nice at first. He's like, hey, give me the names. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to? Okay, well, here's an example. I'll blow up <laughs> your pooper. <laughs> right. And so, so he does that. Did you regret it soon enough. And of course, you know, Liam still won't really, give him the names. Yeah, like Liam, he's, he's got to be like. Go drop bombs. <laughs> <laughs> he really blew up that toilet. <laughs> he did. Oh, shit. And, and so, and I love this, by the way, because like the, the fire marshal bomb dude is talking to Liam and is like, you know, you're lucky. This is just a warning. If it wasn't, I wouldn't be here talking to you right now. You'd be yeah. dead kind of thing. And I like, he's like, I'm just going to feed the media a story that it was like a gas leak, which yeah, if you pay right. attention to the first bombing. When they were on the news, yeah. they're like, they think it's a gas leak. And, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, <laughs> I love how every bomb is just like, we're just going to tell the media it's a gas leak. Let's keep everybody quiet. Because so, they don't want anybody know, knowing that it's a new IRA up, well, right. you know, they, uprising. They, they want to like try and control people from panicking. And I get that. <laughs> wow, so, I wants to <laughs> yes. so anybody Weird. listening, just know if you're watching a story of an explosion and they say gas leak. It was Jackie Chan. It was, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So we get this scene of Quan doing some chemistry in this room he's renting out of this, like, I, I keep uh, wanting to say bed know. and breakfast, but it's I mean, clearly kind not, of, I mean, kind sort of, of is. is. Yeah. And I think they literally do say that later. Oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right. So he's renting a room at this bed and breakfast. Yeah. And, and he's doing <clears throat> chemistry and you can tell, like, this guy knows his shit, which I want to break from this, this point to say one thing that drives me nuts about action movies. Why is it? When there is anybody who has any type of special ops training, all of a sudden is better than the government that trained him. He is always 18 steps ahead of everyone else. Well, but I don't know. Their government didn't train him. Their government's shit. Well, yeah, that's true. Okay. Right? He was true. trained by, uh, where was it? What did they say? Um, London? No. Didn't they no. No. say was, um, US at one point? I, I man, uh, I wish. Uh, no, he, he was. Like I think Saigon was, or. Yeah, but that's, um, what is that now? Uh, that I exist. don't know. Uh. I don't know. Geography. Vietnam or something, right? Didn't they say yeah. he was in Vietnam yeah. too? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, and so, but my <laughs> Which problem makes is sense why he knows so much about traps because wasn't that a big yeah. deal? Well, okay, yeah. but no. Okay, yeah. here's the thing: like certain bombs, sure, uh, and traps and tracking. Okay, you know, just because he's doing some fancy science doesn't mean it's complicated. And, it could be as okay. simple as like I'm gonna, distilling something and pouring it in make, somewhere else. No, I'm not going <laughs> to yeah, Google how to make nitroglycerin, right? right? Yeah. But I mean. <laughs> If he was able to get all the shit at the hardware store, it can't be that hard to make. It's okay. Probably, it's probably simpler. We just don't know. You just what need I don't something understand. with the base element Most in it so yeah. that way you know. What I don't get, though, is like I, I don't understand how he is always so many steps ahead above everybody else. First of all, he was in the war 
many years ago when he was right. way younger. Technology That's, has advanced so much. You mean to tell me my he has hasn't kept, changed? Okay, but I'm saying no. <laughs> like he is able to track and keep tabs on everybody and can stay ahead of the government. I, I just want to say, staying sharp. Yeah, I just want to say, to be fair, he's not staying ahead of the government. It's, yeah, he kind of is. No, he really is. No, those people aren't guy. the government. Those these people are like kind of like the under the rug of, kind of mercenary it's a bunch work. Of Irish yeah. boomers. No, 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 no. I mean, but no, e- no, no. Yeah, but even no, the yeah. British intelligent uh, intelligence who is trying to track and 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 bust Liam for all this shit are working on it. And Jackie's always ahead of him. Well, I mean, they weren't going after Jackie Chan. No, 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 no. They because they, didn't, they didn't even really know Jackie Chan was involved until well, the is, I think later. The when right. yeah, the, the they, difference is is Jackie's going after Liam. Yes. And the government's going after the three unknown bombers. Yeah, yeah. Because the Brit- okay. <sighs> so the government, the government yeah, right. is on a wild goose chase while Jackie is just harassing the hell out of right. a seemingly innocent man. I'm going to throw another boomerang here. They didn't know that Quan was doing anything until the apartment later. Yeah, right. They didn't know shit about him. I mean, Liam knew. And then they thought about going after him. And Liam was basically covering for him, too, because he wasn't letting anything he was doing out. Oh, he had a gas leak. They didn't know he got bombed there. Yeah, because if he... The other bombs, which I won't get to because we haven't got that far yet, are on private property that, I guess, was under surveillance, but... Because that's that's the thing. is like if he went... If he told the uh, British intelligence... If Liam told the British intelligence that Jackie... Or Quan was coming after him. I mean, because he would want to have know why. basically they would have to know why. And if he had to tell him why, he would try to make up some bullshit. But they would catch him on his shit, so he have to keep it under wraps so that way he doesn't get in trouble. Also, when the government that's tracking them does finally realize someone else is in on it, they find out it's him in like literally three seconds. Well, okay, that's yeah, true. but when someone mentions that there's a China man. That that showed up to do something or other. The guy who was being bribed twenty thousand dollars knows who it is. Christ Almighty, are you dumb and blind? An old man making fools out of the lot of you, and he's still running around out there for God's sake. You are four men. Four. We had him cornered, and he jumped off the roof and slid down like some fucking monkey. What is going on? Pack your bag. You're going to the farm. Go on. Get your thanks. With this mm. with with this scare of the bomb in the bathroom at, at Liam uh, to kind of let him know, like, hey, give me the names or I'm gonna, you know, hurt you or your loved ones, which by the way, I don't well, think he, he would didn't really do say no, he, that. Yeah. He said because he saw the picture, he's like, What would happen if they got killed by a bomb? He's like, I would go after the people, you know, who were responsible and get right. justice. And then when like, well, they what, tried what to do kick, you think I'm doing? Basically. Exactly. Yeah. Right, yeah, right, right. He just then tried when to say they like, kicked yeah. him out and he said, you know, you will change they, your mind. You will change your you will right. change your mind soon. Yeah. That's all I said. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. He, that, is, that is all he said. But I mean, come on, these these are threats to be threatening. Yeah. It's not like I'm gonna do this and if he you don't tell me threat. again, it's I'm like, gonna do your bathroom you, at your house. I was like, you better I mean, like remodeling bathrooms. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's not like I mean he's doing it as like do it or else. Whether or not he's don't that make type me of go for the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whether or not he has that type of personality to do that, obviously he I don't think he does, but he doesn't want to let him know that. So so now Liam, you know, of course, feeling threatened, sends his own goons after him. And this is where Jackie Chan shines. As Jackie Chan, we get an amazing fight scene at the B and B. This right. is so cool. I love it this. It is good, but of course, it's a little watered down. You can tell Jackie Chan's getting old. Yeah, it's not as fast, it's not as long, and it's not as hard. If you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, well, I actually kind of like that because he's supposed to be playing an older guy. Yes, well, yeah, they played to his so age, and move. it's great. And I mean, he's still kicked like what five dudes asses yeah. yeah and that's the thing like even though he he's got a- his ass beat a little bit though yes oh yeah they played to his age they still made it believable and he still kicked some ass and the stunts and stuff that he was like doing on the stairs that was awesome like yeah. the way that they planned all that i out. liked how they had him do the jump from one staircase to the lower staircase yeah but he didn't make it it's like he knows what he's doing but he's <laughs> a bit too old to be doing it i like yeah. i like that part but i really yeah. like uh, when I- they're coming in the room and he hides in the attic and like when they come in the attic he's already <laughs> through the roof man he's like, yeah i was just gonna i was just gonna come out and they went yoink yes. he just kicked the hole in the roof is like i'm, I'm out of here like wow this guy is just they don't want to let him out and then he kicks him back out the door he's like all right bye bitch the thing too where when he finally got on the roof and he jumped off caught the flag like he got, he got thrown off really he caught the flagpole yes. just falling 
Yeah. I liked that. It was just falling with style. Yeah. <laughs> Buzz was, Lightyear. Yeah. I don't even remember exactly what the hell was going on, but we're introduced to Liam's nephew, Sean, which, by the way, this is a very Jerry Springer situation going on here, where we find <laughs> he's banging his aunt. Um, uh, yeah. We didn't bring this out yet, did we? <laughs> Uh, I feel like that was, did, far, that was uh, far, that was far, far away. No, that was far ahead because that's where he called him and said, told no, this, him, can yes. you get back here? Yeah, it's, this is, he called him back because he, he, was in, he needed him to go talk to the uh, police officer from London, the head detective. Oh, yeah, because before before that, Jackie Chan went to that farm and started blowing stuff up there. Yeah. We haven't yeah. really talked about that. That's like much. way later. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, he oh, didn't start banging okay. his hands uh, in the movie okay, 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 okay. We Spoiler alert. He bangs his <laughs> Incest. <laughs> yes. Incest. Uh, spoiler bad. alert. I, they're not related by blood. It's fine. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's still. Blech. I mean, <laughs> it, it is still the same woman that your uncle is banging. And that's uh, weird. I mean, you know, I'm sure she's showered since the last time. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe he's into that. I don't. It, it's just it's it's weird. All right. So anyway. OK. So, yeah, he shows up. I don't even remember why. And. What's that I, called? Like Eskimo Brothers or something? Besides, <laughs> isn't that the thing, like, in Britain, you know, to keep it in the family? Haven't they been doing that for, like, centuries? Uh, probably. You, you know? Piss some people off. I don't today. think it, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's I'm a practice saying. still being used today. I, I, maybe maybe I, in royalty? That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't, you know, I don't it's, know. It's common over there. They have rednecks over there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got them bad over here, shit. I want to say there's a scene, because I think this is why... Uh, I cannot remember. Sean. I think this is why Sean shows up because Liam sends him to talk to this British police officer guy to be diplomatic. And, and he brings him in because he served in the military. So yes. he, said he will trust you right. more than he trusts anyone. And there's else. a whole lot of like political shit. At this point, it's not even over my head. I just kind of don't care. Yeah. So like when, when we get these cutscenes of all this interlaced political hoopla, I don't give a shit. I'm sorry. Um <laughs> once they start introducing the story, it's like this is more Jackie Chan. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, Bring Jackie Chan back. Which, Fuck the rest of the shit. Speaking of that, is the next scene when uh he's sneaking back to get his van? Uh I, I, I really liked what happened on the when he snuck back. To I can't. His yeah. <laughs> yes. What? Yeah. Oh, what? That think. was great. I just watched nope. this movie like two nope. hours ago. Okay, no. I, don't, so, I don't remember that. Okay, so it's a really short scene where he's going back to his van. And he's walking down the sidewalk. Okay, he spots the guy watching the front oh. of the house, and he just walks over, casually opens the door, knees the dude in the face, <laughs> yes. shuts the door, goes and gets his van and leaves. Yeah, so quick I love that. That was funny. That's right, because that leads us into the next scene. Because obviously he took he that guy out, a new vehicle, so that he yeah. can follow Liam to the restaurant. Where he takes some mm -hmm. voyeur picks to blackmail him for the names, which he right. still doesn't get. I think that's that whole scene. It just yeah, that's and it. that's why Jackie well, no, Chan. After that, that's when he takes his van in and gets a new van because now yeah, they know did his he van. steal that van? Oh, I just want to no, say I think he traded I, it in. I think his first van is a, a Toyota Previa, which is pretty awesome. Just gonna throw that out there. You would know that. <laughs> okay. Oh, that I must may be have a similar van. Oh, that must be the scene where I'm thinking to myself: Is everybody over there in like the UK a fucking stunt driver? Because he comes zipping around in in this like parking lot where there is just enough room for this van to squeeze through. Even the streets and everything. This uh, dude, I would have, have anxiety like a bitch over there? there. Have you seen their streets? They have to be stunt drivers. Oh man, there's no oh. way I could do it. I don't even like driving on calm streets. This is nuts, but that's right. Okay, that wouldn't make sense. I, I, think I don't you're like right. driving on our streets because they're fucking garbage. Yeah, that's true, too. Uh, you're right. I think he did trade in or buy a new one. I mean, he did have all that money, so I guess he just picked up an, another van. We're already at Liam's farm. Yeah, he drives up to the farm, and he takes a fucking big-ass branch and just, like, sweeps up the yes. fucking track so they don't Super know. clever. Obviously, Liam wants to get his family to this farm uh, to be safe, but you know what? You just can't hide from Jackie Chan. He would find you. Laugh Dude, he blew up half their scene. barn. You know, so when <sighs> they show him like scouting the place out and his guard comes turning around the corner with a double barrel shotgun, I laugh my ass off. I love <laughs> really? it. Yes. I'm like, why? That, no, because that Cause was actually funny. It was like, like, who has fucking shot? I just, I felt it, it, it was added some realism. Well, that's yeah. what I was saying. It was like, it was at that moment I clicked. I was like, oh yeah, this isn't in America. Like, well, they, yeah. like they can't have guns legally. Right? So they have just some old like hunting shotguns. I That makes this even better after he blows up their barn. They stopped giving all shits and they come back. It's like they cut to the next scene and they're walking with AKs and it's like, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. it's, it's like, like they aren't, the they aren't even yeah. trying for appearances anymore. I think it's super funny that like, oh man, the barn just exploded. I'm just so mad at you. We're having marital problems. I'm going to bed. I'm leaving in the morning. 
Yeah. I would be like, oh my God, I'm out now. This right. dude is outside my door blowing stuff up. I'm know. not going to go to sleep. Yeah. How could you? There's like a guy out there blowing shit up, I mean, but he's still but for there. Her, it's just she's like been, eh, another day. She's been Wait, part what? of the IRA for like 30 years. So yeah. 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 She's yeah, just used funny. to stuff blowing up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's probably right. Yeah. Because even she's like, what happened to the old Liam? So yeah. she's used I feel to that like shit. We, we missed a bomb. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. We You're the, right. We missed a bomb. No, we missed a lot of fucking bombs because I'll tell you what. The next morning after the barn, the car blows up, which, oh, by no, the way... No, no, We got to backtrack a little bit. No, that's fine. Backtrack because I know there was a lot of bombs because when that car goes off, I remember watching this movie thinking, another one? Yeah. I, like, yeah, because there was on. a car bomb, but it didn't blow up oh, because yeah. he saw the wire. Right. And then when they talked about it, like, it was set up to look like it was going to explode. Right, right, right. Because it was connected, I guess, to the... Oh, yeah, it was headlight, but it wasn't actually in the tank. It was, it was just a scare. Yeah, him. It was just another scare tactic. Yeah. But no, I feel like there must have been something else because there was another explosion of the car the day after the barn goes up mm -hmm. uh, where this car blows up, which I think is a plot device because the guy's like, oh, it was detonated by this, which how the fuck does he know? I have no idea. Oh, you know the bomb. So you automatically know the detonator. I, I don't know if that works that way. I, but I, I, mean, I think what they it know was, their stuff though. Yeah, and, and I they guess do they, they do. Yeah, <laughs> that is what they do. But he's like, oh, I'm assuming. Well, well, yeah, I, yeah. I guess yeah. He could have assumed because it's buried in the ground, there would be no other way to set it off except for remote because it's not part of okay. the car. It's, and, it couldn't have been oh, pressure well, sensitive like true. a landmine. I guess, but he's all like, "This had to have had line well, of sight for detonations." So let's go northeast. It's like, how do you know the direction? I think he because because that, the, to the right was yeah, the, the, the right was the burnt out barn. The other way was the road, and there's the woods out to the left. I just was feel, like, I feel like, like, was. like Sherlock had one direction to look where the dude could have been, and he picked that one. I, I don't. I guess he's, maybe he's I'll have probably to taking into account their how their guards are patrolling. Because at this point, had they called, they had called for reinforcements, so they had a bunch of extra dudes on the compound. All right. Yeah, I'm just saying. I know what you're saying, but it's all right. Okay. Possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They know bombs. You know what? Possible. Yes. I'll give it a pass because I I am naive to bombs and detonators, but I will say that. I do remember thinking, holy shit, like another bomb. Like, it has been like bomb, 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 bomb. And I really don't think it's even the last one. And I'm like, oh my God, seriously? Well, I mean, he they killed his daughter with a bomb. He's going to use bombs against them. You know, like an eye for an eye type of thing. Why is it so hard? He's ahead of us every step of the way. We need more men. We need a hundred more men at least. And if we did that, we'd have the whole of Belfast against us. Bring in a tracker, someone who knows the woods, and beat him at his own game. My nephew? Aye, if you can spare him. Oh my god, the woods scene is awesome. This is another great, and actually this is, it's weird, I guess this like, kind of almost like, makes me think of movies of like, like Commando, because it's like, it's Jackie Chan being, you know, Jackie Chan is awesome, but it's also like, it's not, it's almost like more like, Rambo-ish, which is really cool. Do a lot. So what was the first one? Bound bonked his head. Yes. The, the second one. The one huh? Somebody stepped on some nails or something. Oh, the punji sticks. That's what they, oh, what they called them. I don't know. Because he thwack. It's, it's like he steps through and he gets on the, the spikes, go right through his foot. Yes. He's sitting there, he's yeah. stuck in it, screaming. Yeah. And, and then what was the fourth one? Or third one? I, I don't really remember. I think the third one. There was another tripwire. Hit him with something. I can't remember what what it did though yeah i can't remember i think at one point maybe even somebody just gets shot i don't remember jackie gets shot oh does yeah, he yeah. but, but we get an awesome fight scene though between jackie and the the guy like heading this hunt and i all i remember is this awesome like double kick thing we just sends this guy over this fucking log it was awesome and then i remember because i remember him going back all beat up talking to liam and that's when he's like you know we need an expert tracker. And guess who the expert tracker is? Mm -hmm. The guy who's stooping your wife. Yeah. And is also your nephew. And nephew Sean. <laughs> we need to bring Sean in here. So that's how he comes back. <laughs> Find some incest. And I think, well, he's not like, you know. Boy. You don't know that. You don't. I mean, I don't care. You, know, <laughs> don't you, can, shame him. <laughs> you can find the extended incest scene on Pornhub. Yes. Um. So the you know, just throwing it out there. I would like to know how you know this. Uh, Someone did their research. Uh, yeah. Well, you know. But yeah, so we get we get a couple <laughs> of scenes. Like, That's an option. <laughs> I have to do some research. <laughs> we, we get a couple of scenes, and these might be out of order, but we get one where Sean is with the aunt, and she's trying to kind of like talk him into like this position of power. And talk not, him into some positions. <laughs> See, well, not, sexually. Saying, well, not sexually. At this point, I literally thought that it was like my brain was like it's the wife who's doing everything. 
my I thought it was her. Cause I'm like, yeah, I, I can I believe mean, it was Leah, but for some reason, I was like, maybe it's her who's doing everything. Cause it's she like, definitely they, had an agenda. The way yeah. they played certain characters, it just made you think, maybe it's actually this person, or maybe it's actually this person. The way certain characters got played up as it went through until you got to the point where you know you find out what's going yeah. on. Yeah, because after she seduces her nephew, which is odd, <laughs> she's like, oh, you know, Liam, he's just so weak nowadays, and you should really be in charge. You're, you're, yeah. you're strong. And we then, need a strong leader. Hint, hint. I should be like your right hand lady. Yeah, your right hand job lady. <laughs> There's some, there are some pawns. people are totally not gonna question that. Yeah, no, there are some <laughs> pawns in this, but the the main plot is is still kind of it is it is basic and and I guess I the main plot is still Jackie McBoom. Jackie McBoom. <laughs> yes, and I I kind of to a certain degree like it and can accept it because it makes it easier for me to follow. That being said, they could have dropped all the political bullshit. And for me, it would have been a better movie. Uh, just make it. You just don't like story. political movies. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't like, like, if you I took don't like politics. Then it would have just been Jackie Chan attacking some random guy. I with a and lot there's of nothing power. Wrong with that. But why does he have power? <laughs> why can't Jackie Chan just beat him up? Where's all these people coming from? No, 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 no. I'm not why saying. It, well, no, I, I'm not saying that. Why can't, can't this guy have, just go to the police? Why is he think... covering up for Jackie Chan? Because he's covering up for himself. So you have to have that. Yeah. No, I, I don't care that he is in a place of political power. That's fine. But like all this. You need to take his place. He's old now. All this shit's going on well, in see, the past. I actually and there's just there's like a the lot politics. of shit. I, think, I mean, I don't fully get him, but that's okay. It, I was going to say, that's <laughs> okay. I they're confusing at the start. being over my head. Look at us talking about politics is boring you. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think they were confusing, which is one reason I'm, I want to rewatch the movie. Right. But I think it's also, it's almost like they're playing hot potato with who's the bad guy. I, it keeps you guessing. But also, it's, yeah. a, it's a British movie. Things start to fall together. And I think people from that area of the world who are involved in it would have understood it more. Yeah, and then, I then think it's just more true. difficult for us. Yeah. Well, I'll say this. I don't generally gravitate towards political stuff, but watching this movie, it's just like, all right, you gotta step back and look at it, you know, from an outside perspective. I don't know if it's I even don't think, political if I, as subterfuge. Yeah, but if you take the political stuff out, though... You're using words I don't know and it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> if you take the political stuff out, though, you don't really have much of a movie. Ah. Uh, Man, I kind of disagree. If you take the the politics out of this, I get what everybody's saying. Like, oh, there's not much of a movie. Bullshit. That is 90% action movies. 90% of action movies don't yeah, have fucking but politics then in it. it would have been even more of a basic action movie, and I would have liked it but less. All because... I get from it is a basic action movie. But no, it's a little <laughs> bit. They, they added a little bit of, you know, zhush with, with the extra side okay. stories going on. Where are we at the movie? All right. Yes. This is where we're introduced, uh, not for the first time, because he was part of the uh, initial meeting and the beginning of the movie, but we see this dude, McGrath, who is, is, is part I'm of one of the- I you have the, the name written down, because um, I was really trying hard to think about well, I that. Wanted to make, so, I want to make sure I had this, because he what, is what apparently- is this, What is this country music star doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, right? okay, so <laughs> apparently this is the guy that Liam set up- to be in charge of the bombings. Like, Liam doesn't want nothing to do with it. And even this McGrath guy, I don't even think knows a hundred... Like, he set he, it up. All right, well, I think he knows most of it. All right, so he showed up because he was getting pissed because his dump got checked. Yeah, oh, yeah, And yeah. he said, and that's where Liam said, everybody's shit getting checked. I don't give a fuck who you are. Which right. is really I a warning. I told you guys, I warned you guys that everybody's shit getting checked. Doesn't matter. Yeah. And he said, this better not come get, come back to get me, because yada yada, whatever happened. He said there was four found, and two of them were at yours. But he also basically said, it's like, we both know it was my Semtex that did it. Like, he didn't quite right. say it, but he but more he or less implied it. it. It's right. like, so hey, what the hell? But so, it, so, okay, so now, see, this is something, this is something that I didn't get. Because I didn't know the whole semtex and all this oh, other bullshit. Okay, yeah. so now now it's making sense. So this guy's getting pissed because it's like, but, you know my semtex is gone. You're checking my dumps and you're going to put me under the bus. Yeah. Bullshit. But, that, but he, where, he threw out the warning first to everybody. He's like, hey, we're going to be checking you. Hint, hint. Cover it up. Hint, hint, hint. So when right. we look, it's not there. I know somebody did it, but let's just So move it's on. still this McGrath the, guy's fault. Yeah, but that's yeah. the point where you find out. Because I'm like... Well, in between this huh. is where they had to do the whole code word thing and then find out, you know, it didn't work because someone said just fucking do it. But when, like I said, McGrath showed up and was bitching. This is where you start to find out that it was actually Liam who set this up, told McGrath, 
He wanted it to just be a scare. Nobody was supposed to get hurt. Right. If anybody got hurt, no one was supposed to die. But that was all it was supposed to be. This is all just for your political agenda anyway, so fuck you. Right. Well, that's pretty point, much the conversation about, they're there. They're complaining about profiting off this. Yeah. And I'm sitting here like, you're all talking about, like, the one guy's like, they're bitching each other about profiting off it. He's like, I'm going back to my farm. And it's like, you all have these crazy nice houses. <laughs> like, the fuckers have a farm. Dude. It's like you're driving nice cars. Yeah, but like okay, all... it doesn't matter, though, because even in real life, people who have more money than they will ever spend in their fucking lifetime are still concerned with making more yeah. money. Yeah. Uh, and that's just that's how it is. But see, now this is the thing. Liam, I don't think really cares. He just wants this to help him get into like a higher place of power. Um, but here, this is funny. Okay, because after all this goes down, which now makes way more sense to me. Thank you guys. Later on, and I have to say, I've seen this movie before, but I couldn't remember. I thought the dog was dead. <laughs> Yeah, I when know. I was watching that scene, I was, I was so like, upset. three for three. No, I was like every four. Four, yeah. I was like every fucking movie we've picked yeah. has had a dog die. And, and I it. honestly thought I was like, oh my god, did he really kill it? Because I thought he kind of did. And then when the guy's like, you killed my fucking dog. And he's like, no, he's like, chill out. He's just sleeping. I'm like, oh, oh my god, thank I, God. I was about to be like, Jackie Chan, no. But here's my next question. How long was Jackie in the closet? <laughs> well, about 30 you know. years. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the, did he hear like all this like going down in the beat? How long was he there for? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, well, pretty much heard everything. It was the mysterious Chinaman. Just it was of, still daytime oh. when that meeting took place. Yeah, no, it, it was. So it I'm was. assuming this is hours later. Yeah, no, that's kind of what I assumed, but I was kind of laughing at that. I thought that was kind of funny. You know, the wind blows, some cherry blossom petals fall down, and <laughs> Jackie Chan just appears in the <laughs> mist. Yeah, so 24 yes. hours. If you put names. some Semtex under your pillow, Jackie Chan will appear. <laughs> <in your> closet, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> yes. I've read your history. We both know about war. We've both tried to put it behind us. You and me, we're alike. We are nothing alike. You're nothing. You kill oh. women and children. Names! To Almighty God, I don't know! Wait, wait! I've set a trap for them when they use the next bomb. When they claim responsibility for the next bombing, they'll use a code word. Telling the police their IRA. I've changed that code word. So when they use it, I'll know. You have one day. What if they don't set off a bomb by then? 24 hours. Jackie Chan gives him 24 hours to come up with the names. He's like, look, I don't know. He's like, but I can figure it out. I just got to wait for the next bombing, which great, you know. I know. I thought that was like, <laughs> wow, what a political move. Like, well, <laughs> in order to save people, let's just kill some more first. Yes. And then we'll know. Right. And I so I feel like that's actually how probably most of that stuff but here's really the thing. Yeah, probably. Which is just like the but, wow. but in all fairness, this doesn't act all, as a plot device also, to make the bu the bus blow up because Liam doesn't have control over this shit. It also, just happened to happen. Well, what's yeah. funny is Liam's orders for doing this was no casualties. So yes. his assumption, oh yeah, the next bomb will go off. It's not that big a deal. No barely anybody should get hurt. Uh, in his mind, that's bus. what he's thinking yeah, about the whole time. I don't, I don't think he's thinking that at this point. Not anymore, no, I feel like, because I, he already knows it's, it's gone too far already. Right, yeah, and I mean, I don't think Liam... I mean, he's been, he's been saying this whole, when the next bomb plan goes off since, like, the first bomb went off. Pretty much. Yeah. Right, but that's also why he's pissed. Yeah. Because there's so many bombs and so many deaths and so many casualties that he's like, this is not... No women, no children, people aren't supposed to be dying. These are all just supposed to be scares to, you know, hey, I can take care of this. And that's when he steps in, looks like, you know, the hero kind of bullshit. Unites the people. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Oh, yeah, pretty much. So, previously, when shit was going down at the at, at the farm, the, the wife took off to go stay with her daughter, was it? In New oh, York? Yeah. The daughter London. that we never meet. London. Yeah. It was in, it was in London? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which, which doesn't... We don't... Actually, we don't need to... This does not make no, any difference. She just doesn't. takes off. It, well, just, it, does, it does. It's concerning because she's into incest, so I don't know what happened <laughs> yeah, when it, she got there. You never but know. But no one... No one's supposed to know she's there. Yes. But Liam sends a man to go look after her, and that's important because he sees a lot of stuff, which we'll discover later on. Okay. Oh, oh no. No, no, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> all right. So, because actually, I think we're, I think we're already here. Oh, okay. later yeah, on. That's when we find out, <laughs> because that's when we find out, because he calls fucking nephew, what was his? Sean. 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 And that's when Aww. it's like, he 
you get to see that John Stupin, Liam's wife, and then oh, Andy. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I love your Christmas parties. Aunt, what are we talking about? Who's Andy? Auntie. Aunt, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell is going on right now? And this is why you don't see the daughter she's staying with, because she's not staying with the daughter. She's staying in a hotel. Oh shit, that never oh even occurred to me. Oh my god, yeah. I am so slow. Come on. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't she's catch that sleeping one. with this guy in her daughter's apartment while she's away. But it was supposed to be at her daughter's apartment. Yes, yeah. it was supposed it was. to be. But yeah, all oh, that's so fu- Oh my god, that makes I'm, sense I'm now. such an idiot. <laughs> that makes sense now. It's a small oh. detail, I didn't catch that. Nope. Okay, well I don't feel too bad then. All so, right, but so yeah. So Sean joins the good old boys down on the farm. <laughs> yes. And goes, good old boys. goes uh, Chinese hunting. He does call Sean back to help him out with this this problem of Jackie Chan. Yeah, and, and, he's and, like, and, and, I got it, I got it, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, and and now love you, Uncle. At, <laughs> right. At this point, though, he wants to love Liam his still uncle. Liam still doesn't know yet, right? I can't no, remember. I don't no, think not he yet. Okay. He doesn't know so yet. this is what happens: he sends Sean to go find Quan. He gets a call from the fucking Head British, detective guy. Yeah, yeah from the, the private eye he sends to watch the Brit- right. Oh the no! Brit- no, the uh, police officer guy. Yeah, the black the police guy. Officer calls yeah, him. yeah. So no offense. Calls him and talking to him. Come to find out, what was his name? Because they have Bromley. I don't remember. Did you say Bromley? Bromley. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just <because> he's black. <laughs> this is Brom- <laughs> Bromley with an M. <laughs> Bromley. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh, we got some shit from that. Uh, <laughs> He's getting political now. Yes. Okay. We got to stop. I'm, I'm shutting this down. I'm shutting this down. <laughs> yeah, Blow up this table. I Nobody was supposed to get I, offended. I don't even understand what's going on. Anyway. So Bromley um, calls. Like, <laughs> Bromley? <laughs> um, Bromley calls. Find out that He's got a GPS on McGrath. Doesn't he like yes. see a drone out his window? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's like, I got there. a drone at a, on a, or is like, we like that was just GPS him fucking flexing on that guy. I see him fucking pulling up on you. Yeah, he's like watching so. this shit real time. Yeah, McGrath shows up. He said, "You have you know yada yada amount of time to get." The names for me, otherwise you're fucked. Basically, I do, is what was put. And I do like this though because he's like, I want those names, and pretty much ultimately tells him, "Do whatever you got to do." Yep, I just want these names. So Wolf McGrath, Wolf, what the fuck, Wolf, Wolf McGrath. <laughs> <laughs> so McGrath comes so, in, Wolf and Brownlee. <laughs> I need some sleep. <laughs> McGrath comes in and you know Ends asking up. about whatever because the British intelligence they traced it back to him. That's how they why they got the drone there and all that shit. So when he comes in, he says starts talking to him about it and says he wants names and then the first. Pops him the fucking kneecap. Oh yeah, yeah, because that because that's Old why school. Liam's that's why Liam is pissed because what happened is is, is all this was supposed to be going down without either one of them to be like incriminated, right? And and so like he is talking to one of the bombers not, in not like just, this stupid restaurant. Not just that, like yeah. before he shoots him, he tells him what's gonna happen. It's like, hey, yeah. the British know all of this. The yep. British are coming. Oh. <laughs> the British are coming. The British are coming. <laughs> so that's a very topical <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> so. He knows like they're gonna be there in thirty minutes, and he's like, "You fucking sold me out." Like he yeah. just the guy who's like he's got gunpoint, but he doesn't even care anymore. Right. So right. that's why he just pops him he in pops the leg. He's yeah. got like he no he's time. He's got thirty minutes. Yes. So he's like, "Tell me the names." Okay. He said, "Boom, you, I'll shoot you again." Yeah, said, Come on. He write him down. He wrote him down. Gave him all the shit about his wife. Popped him again in the other knee. Oh man. And then said something to him, and then. Done. Yeah, and and oh man, I, I, you know, you know, shit is going south when he first gets there. He's like, "Have your men go do this and find this yeah. guy." And I'm like, "Oh man, no." We need to have a chat, real yes. quick, because then when he sends or while Sean's out there, I think he calls him and says, "Young, know, I'm gonna text you, you know, names and blah blah. You can use this as leverage." Yeah, yeah, because either way, Jackie ends up kicking the kid's ass anyway. Yes, and either and oh my god, I love this scene because okay, first Liam tells Sean before anything even happens, like, "Look, pretty much if shit goes south." south Tell him the names. I want this done, no matter what happens. It just—I just want it to be over with. But I—I I love this scene where they're like they're battling each other, and then when he's uh, like amazing tracking skills, found his giant stick igloo <laughs> yeah. in the woods. Yes, yes. I'm a good hey. tracker. Look at there's <laughs> yes. an entire campsite. There's a stick glue over there. Yes, you know. Uh, so, so he does. He, he finds his stick igloo, which is awesome. Um, stick glue. But like, I—I I, I like this. I, I like how. He takes him down after this really awesome fight scene. Again, we, the, the the fight scenes are cool. That was a struggle, yeah. though. It, it looked oh, like yeah. he like struggled oh, hard to get him down. Which Jackie means, Chan like, was getting his ass kicked. 
Um, yeah. But he gets, I, is this the one where he gets stabbed in the arm? Yeah, it is. No. It, no, are you sure? That was, that, no, 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 that no. was. That's later. That's later. Is it? I think this is like the no, last fucking fight scene. No, because, oh, no. no. Apartment fight scene. The, the apartment fight scene is the best fight scene. In no, my I'm not, well, I'm not arguing that that's not the best. I'm saying, isn't this the last real fight scene we get from no, Jack? Uh, no, no, it's the shit. apartment fight yeah. scene. Yeah. All right, never mind. I never, just said it. I was thinking about the BNB. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Yeah. How can I ever make it up to you? But uh, you can't. Because they had that fight scene, the kid fell, and basically how he got him is Jack grabbed a sharp stick, and the kid literally almost landed on it. He just yes. put his hands out just in time, because otherwise yeah. that would have went through his face. So he pretty much like tied him up after that. And I, I like Jack I like was, how after that there was just like this just, this mutualness. It's like, hey, look, we're both people that were like, you know. We're both people. We're, we're both y- you're people. Both people. Yeah. I you. thought you were a lizard Either when we were fighting, <laughs> <laughs> but now that I see you're a person. <laughs> No, I'm probably gonna let you go. No, they, they were both like people of like war and honor, and like they just have like this mutual respect for one another and, and dislike of Liam. Yes, so and, they're like, you know what? Right. It's okay. We got the same enemy here. Yeah, and I thought that. I thought that was great. And I Price also slips in and he's banging his wife, and he's like, hmm, good and luck. I like Jack, it. Jack's like, I'm also well, banging your aunt. It's fine. Sierra, call signs. Report what's going on. I have two unknowns at the front door. Wait. Sorry for the bother, but there's a gas leak in the building, and the. Gas man needs entry for an inspection. Our gas works fine. There's no problem. He needs to inspect all the flats regardless. It won't take a moment. And it is an emergency. It's quite important, Mr. Upton. By law, I'm allowed to use my own key. Yeah. All right. Just a second. Now that Jackie knows the names... He doesn't really care about Liam anymore. No, he really. does Yeah, because yeah. that's all he wanted him for was the names. Yeah. So he's got the names. But how does he... The fuck, this is what I'm saying. How does he find the people? Dude, he's Jackie Chan. Oh, no, it's because he has special forces training, so he knows everything. He has nothing how to lose. How did he find the people? I can't remember. I don't remember either. But he's always like 15... I think I said 18. <laughs> he's always so many steps ahead of everybody. He but, just you knows know, everything. Because he doesn't have to go through the red tape. He's just doing it like guorilla style, you yeah. know? He's and just that's getting true. in there and getting it done. Right. He doesn't have to follow any rules. Oh, I, I, I cannot know. remember how he found them. I know I he has all their names. Yes. I think you have to know because I don't think they ever showed how he found them. We did skip a scene, by the way. Oh, we true, did tell him because a Maggie was. Oh, yes. Yeah, basically kind of got. She basically got fucked by the reporter. Oh, yeah. that, was, no, that wasn't a reporter. The... That was a prime minister. No, that was a reporter. No, that was a reporter. <laughs> no, no, it, it wasn't. That she was the reporter. No, she didn't fuck yeah. the reporter. That yeah, was the she reporter. Did. That was yeah, the reporter. Did. Because that's when she snuck the fake computer battery that was the bomb into yeah. his laptop. Yeah, and it still laptop. works as a, ba- or as a battery, but the moment it hit a certain time is when it was supposed to go yeah, off. Yeah, because, yes, they're, they're, I, I guess, was it supposed to be their final bomb? Uh, yeah, it was supposed to go off on the plane. That's why I don't understand why the reporter was on that plane, because it was supposed to be a plane full of, like, important government officials That's exactly why I yeah. he was a government well i think well, i think no, he's supposed to be reporting on whatever the hell was supposed to be exactly. going on exactly huh. that that i guess so. it was a that's line she works. said later yeah well, that I, made me think he was more important also her no, struggling but, to put the laptop battery in was funny oh my god it was actually kind of like nerve-wracking <laughs> yeah crunch for time so she oh, stressed man. herself out like, instead of just saying oh slap that done. scene was so good but yeah so okay jackie chan knows the names of these guys and tracks them down without a problem because that's what he does and we do get this final apartment, not B and B, apartment fight scene. Work of because art. everybody because they have this basically damn thing tagged. Oh yeah, and they're waiting for the moment. But then Jackie walks into the oh yeah building because like, like the like, officials I am here. are there. Yeah, yeah. they have like that weird carpet hole cutting bomb yes. on the floor above them. They I have a sniper outside. Yeah, he's like, I'm he, he basically told him like, a, there's a gas leak in the building. He's going floor by floor to find it. Is basically what's supposed what he's doing. And yeah, they make him look like he's like a like a utility worker. Yeah, yeah. right. He he reports that he's like this utility worker guy about again another gas leak. <laughs> and and yeah, so they're knocking on this apartment door, and it's it's very innocent. Like I know these guys, like the bomber people, are on edge because obviously they're they're assuming something's up. Yeah. But I mean, like it's just the lady's the, like, well, we have to come in. I don't know what to tell you, and so like they go in there. And, She's oh my like, God. I'm going to use my key. I have to. And so by law, and yeah, I mean by law, they they dump out his tool bag, and man, tools come out, and all of a sudden, like gun. Yeah. Well, no, they dump because the tools out, it's towel. wrapped in a towel. Yeah. And she wrap towel and, and I just, then he fights with the one grabs the gun kicks over the table and starts shooting at him it's just yeah. great because he's like standing there casually he's like oh okay yeah, check go the ahead. bag and dumps it out and he's still kind of standing there and then he unrolls a the towel and then there's a machine gun there and instantly he's just like 
okay, punch your face, grab the gun. <laughs> Great, Just really I, casual. I, I, I wonder, because apparently he knows everything. I want to ask this. Did he keep the girl alive on purpose? I don't know. Or was no, that I accidental? Think he, I think, I think, think it was an her- accident. I think he just saw her get hit and go down and because I'm more important. Honestly, I yeah. think the only person that he really wanted to kill and the other, the other people in that room kind of got in the way. I think yeah. he just wanted to kill the guy with the burn in his arm because he was the one that detonated the bomb. Oh. He just wanted the person closest to that crime. Right I, there. Oh, OK. That, that, that makes sense. I'm like, I'm like, that's awfully convenient that she lived to save yeah. the plane full of people. This is an amazing fight scene. I, I can't take away from it. But I do love that he, okay, when, when the, the, I'm assuming more special forces or whatever they are finally come into the scene, he just casually walks out the front door yeah. and just minds his own business, which I, I, that's cool. I don't mind that. But I love how serious they need this information that they are torturing this girl with like these yeah. electric nipple clamps. And I'm like, oh yeah. my God. Like it is, they're like smacking her and like beating the shit it's out of her. It's just funny because like in the scene before, she's like, basically saying i'll never talk oh yeah and it cuts to this one guy saying get ready i'm gonna get the info right now and the next scene yep. he's on the phone telling the people the info he's like yeah <laughs> yeah that was Pretty much. i don't even remember he the was guy's... ready to go like all right yeah. i fucking got the shit and i don't even remember the guy's name but i love when they're just they're running through the airport and they're like we're looking for so and so and they're just running like beelining it through the entire yeah. airport <laughs> he takes his, yeah they, they run past them and he like realizes there's this commotion he's like what's going on and he's like well, i think they're looking for for this guy and he's like i'm that guy He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm like right here. And then like they run back after him to get this laptop. Where's your laptop? Holy shit. It was like he no ran, tripped time. over so everything want... and threw it in the fucking terminal. I, but, was I the only or the one annoyed? Like you have four armed men running through a crowd of people with this laptop when they could have just broke one of those big ass windows and frisbeed the bitch out into the open. <laughs> Uh, well, maybe. Well, Didn't the explosion yeah. end up breaking a window anyway? It, it, maybe, but like... I, mean, I guess it would have been a big plus. Maybe, big bomb, it, it, maybe in that situation, they were like panicking. Like, what, well, what yeah, do yeah. I do with this bomb? Like, they're just... It, like this whole, they dumbass, this whole okay. scene is okay. happening. They the dude's running well, like, you know, he's like he's carrying a football, running with this bomb past giant window and giant window and giant window. Okay, well, like, wait, 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 wait. But I, I, don't, I don't know much about like construction. Unless they're bulletproof windows. And, I mean, and, and like, architecture, but they're such yeah. large pieces of glass. I'm sure they're like reinforced where maybe even if they shot them, they might yeah, like, like put holes, but not enough to, you know, fit yeah, like a like, laptop through. See, so, I was, that's what I was thinking. Like, I was just wondering, it's like, did anyone else think of that? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I do know that once it gets so, like, especially if you have access to it, like an entire window, it has to be safety glass of sorts. So I just don't know, like, how easy it would have yeah. been to make a whole large. Right, yeah. There. So they, they throw true. it down like this. I don't know what they call those. It things. would be the loading dock for the, the plane. The plane loading portable hallway thing. <laughs> I don't, I don't I'm know. I'm going to just call it loading dock. I like so, portable hallway. Yes. They, they well, throw fuck, it down yeah, the portable hallway and it explodes. And really, all we get is. Is, uh, to, to kind of wrap things up, we got... <laughs> but hang on here. When Jackie Chan's fighting in the apartment and he's hiding behind that little like wall next to the refrigerator oh, yeah. and the guy starts shooting through the wall, you think, oh, he got him. And then he turns a corner and he's gone and you're like, where is he? And he's just crouched on top of the fridge. <laughs> yes, it's so <laughs> good. Like, got you. No, man, all now, the like, I want to were... point out, that was just a single wide wall. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you would have heard the motherfucker scurrying up the wall. Like, I don't know. I mean, well, shots. I guess they, they were There's a lot of noise, yeah. dude. dude. You know what? Never ninja. mind. Gunshots indoors. Everyone's yeah. dead. Yeah, I was about to say, even if they the didn't guns, hear shit. Even if the gunshots no. I take it back completely. I take done. it back completely. Like, <laughs> but yeah. But toward the end of the movie, I find it funny. Quan gets back to his place. Right. And then you get a feed of him from the police, whatever. And they say, we find him. He's back at his home. And it's like, all right, do we send men after him? And then he decided, No. We owe him one for what he did for us. That was the actual. Yeah. That was the exact end of the movie, though, because we we did skip over. Yeah. Oh, well, I did, we can we can backtrack. No, no, and the black. We mail. didn't go back to that yet. Be, did we? Uh, wait, to what? What are we doing? The, oh no, that the, is the uh, end. end. To that Sean's is the end. Oh yeah, final yeah, yeah. Mission. yeah. I, oh yeah, that is the, yeah. All right, yeah, well, nope, nope, nope. I did jump even, over. Even if it's out of order, here, oh, here's what we got. On, no, oh, actually, no. There's a few. There's a few important. No, things yeah, yeah, yeah. We get, we get. But he stops by and talks to Liam. Again. Yes, and he he oh, he has well, 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 first what before that that woman. I don't know what is she like. Some kind of uh head of the oh. authorities or like they're they're kind of like yes. security force or whatever it's called over i don't know right right and she's like hey we know that you were sleeping with the same woman who was involved yes and we will leak this to the public unless you do everything we want yes and then jackie chan shows up and like hey i have a picture of you with this woman 
and now it's on the internet. Yep. So. Oh, I love that he makes. Yeah, he, he makes, makes him push, push, push the button. The oh, it's so good, so good. And then, yeah, and then I think is the last thing when Sean wraps up that, or is the last thing when Dude, the, the, that was the, it goes Sean then Jackie. Okay, yeah. so Sean goes back and has his last mission, and it's it is so like just nonchalant. It's just like. You see, I can't even remember the the wife's name, but Liam's wife opens the door. You know, it, the the lovable aunt lady. She's probably like, "Hey, poo, hey, sugar." <laughs> she she opens the door and he just like pop, and just shoots her right in the like, head. And not a there. single word, just gun yeah. straight up pop. And and so the door and he, he, he even closes the door. Yeah, and just that's it, done. And Dude. then and then yeah, and then we got uh, Jackie Chan going back to his restaurant. He just and, goes right back to work. Yeah, he clean does. The oven. Yeah. What, what, what what else does he have now? Yeah, that's you know. It. He's got his restaurant, and he goes there. Not his and, restaurant anymore. Yeah, yeah, nobody's gonna go after him because they owe him, you know. And and that's plus now great. everything that he needed to do is done anyway. Oh, I think yeah. they knew that. Yeah. They're like, he's not gonna hurt anyone. He's just gonna cook some Chinese food now. And he didn't really do anything wrong. He killed I, bad I mean, guys. Yeah, vigilante justice is totally acceptable in all I mean, communities. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Yes. Pretty sure if you 100%. did vigilante justice nowadays, they catch your ass, you're done. Yeah, no, I think yeah. that's pretty much ever. <laughs> yeah, tell uh, you to fuck they off. just they just didn't want to bust him because he's Jackie Chan, he's old, and I think ultimately he saved them a lot of a lot of work. Yeah, I mean, you like, know, whatever. Screw it. Just let him have his no loose ends, they would have killed him anyway. Let's go into final thoughts and yeah. ratings. I'll be honest, for me, it's a toy cost between <laughs> what? Toy <Toyn> costs? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, I thought I was bad today. <laughs> you know what? Spoonerisms are apparently my trademark. Okay, <laughs> shut up. It is a coin toss between the both of you because I may, okay, this was both of you guys' first time watching this, and mm -hmm. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Um, but I think I'm gonna start with Isaiah. Yeah. No pressure. Uh, yeah. No, no, not at, <laughs> not at all. all. You know, much pressure. First one's always the worst. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, shit, no, I liked it. It was a good movie. And you know what? To see Jackie Chan in a different role that I'm used to seeing him was actually really nice. And he played it really well. As well as Pierce Brosnan's character. I've never seen him play an Irishman's role. And again, he played it well. Granted, to a degree, this movie is along the lines of like the stereotypical action movies, get revenge kind of movies. But yeah, that, you know, I like the story. I like the movie. I thought it was good. When I watched it again, I think I'd give it rewatchability for me would be like one more time. After that, if someone said they wanted to watch it, I'd watch it with them. But to choose it again, I'd like I said, I'd choose to watch it again one more time. That'd be it. I said, I want to give it like seven. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. But I did enjoy this. I okay. did enjoy this. All right. I enjoyed it enough for that. Plus, you got to give at least, you know, half those points or at least Jackie Chan. You know, five for Jackie Chan. <laughs> yes, five for Jackie Chan. Two for the rest of the movie. Whatever. Right, who are you uh, picking next? Patrick, because you chose me. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I like this movie a lot. It's. I, I was actually. I was a little bit nervous of getting into this because it is such like a really good movie, and I didn't know how it was going to go over for us. But yeah, I don't like the politicalness. I would have liked it more of just like your nonsense with your brain off action film. Oh, it would have resonated more with me, uh, especially <laughs> with Jackie Chan. You can't go wrong with a lot of fighting from Jackie Chan. I'm just saying. More boom and less. Thing. Yeah, no, not even more boom. Oh my God, that's actually one thing I, I'm deducting points for for this movie. Too many explosions, it's man. It's an action movie. There gotta be explosions. And maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's because it's the UK, less guns, more you know, bombs. If it would have been directed by Michael Bay, there would have been more explosions. Uh, yeah, <laughs> man. Okay, Actually, so I didn't even think of that. That's a good point. They're in the UK, guns are hard to get. So right. So, and, and maybe that's maybe that's what really? it is. Either way, like I like this movie. This will not be my last viewing uh, of this movie at all. Uh, not one I would put in like a, a common rotation. But man, it, it, two great actors. It, it's a fun, actually very exciting movie, especially when the fight scenes happen and they are done so well. I'm going to give this movie an eight and a half. Ooh. Yeah, I do. This is a good movie. Yeah. I was really excited to do this yeah. one again. And it's been so long since I've seen this. I remember liking it before and I still love this movie. It is a good movie. All right, Mike, you're the other first time watcher. I got to know what you say. So you uh, didn't like the political parts. I actually did like them. I think they're going to be the reason I would watch it again, because now that I know everything that happened it'll be easier to follow and actually understand yeah. what's going on in those which could make them far more interesting so i 
I think I'll definitely be watching it again. You know, I love seeing Jackie Chan in a serious role because I've only ever seen him in, you know, comedy type movies. Like the medallion. (laughs) Oh, God, the medallion. I love Jackie Chan. But the medallion was bad. I think it I think I have seen bad. that one. I, I don't. Yeah. Uh, they so good. Thanks for reminding me of that one. In tuxedo, God, that was terrible. Too. <laughs> but he, oh but shit, he, you know what? I that, forgot oh, that was not a movie. to cut you off. But he does like doing kid <laughs> stuff, though. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. I don't he think does. I've seen that one, so I, I've been don't spared. Waste your time. <laughs> You've been spared for now. I've kind of was floating back and forth on what I was going to give this. I think I am going to give it an eight. Ooh, I like that. All right, but here's the thing, though. I have to say, you did, you pointed out that you like the political stuff, and that would actually get you to watch it again. But I will say, I think I will enjoy this movie the next time I watch it, probably even more so, because I know what the hell's going on. Now you understand like, it. You guys, again, <laughs> filled in all the blanks for me. And so you guys actually, that's, you heightened my movie experience. Why are that's we what, fixing movies for you? I, I'm glad you are. This is the <laughs> whole reason why, for the podcast. I was going to say, that's why I like the podcast. You get to get together and discuss the whole movie, and it's like you get to see other points of view on it. Like I, I always change my scores on these because by the end of it, it's like, oh, I didn't think of that or I didn't get yeah. that or like all these things. Like that makes so much more sense. It makes it such a better movie. And yeah, my score just slowly yeah. climbs. Or I, I have in some to cases say, slowly goes down. There, there, are, there are a few that have been kind of killed by this, but you guys have actually helped me understand and like other movies better. Russell, best for last. What do you think about this movie? Okay, one thing that could have made it better, Hulk Hogan. Yes, hundred percent. Uh huh. Um, it's a good movie. I'm going to rate it based on other Jackie Chan movies. Ooh. Just because I've watched so many. Sound like a fan. Ah, super fan. I love Jackie <laughs> Chan. <laughs> so it's tough because obviously he's older and he didn't do all the same stuff he used to do. Right. That's obvious. I mean, he just can't do it. And I prefer his... Chinese movies more than when he does movies in foreign countries, that's going to lower it a little bit. Okay. I think I have to put this movie at a seven and a half. I didn't know what to expect from you, but... I thought you were going to come in at like a five and a half. No. The way you were describing that's it. high for a Russell rating. No, bro, I, I, I didn't know what Russell was going to do, but I knew this was no five on Russell's scale. So we got eight from Mike, 7.5 from Russell, seven from Isaiah... An 8.5 from yours truly. Enlighten me, Patrick. What were you going to say? Were he you going to say the NRA? Yeah. <laughs> 7.5 say... from the NRA. Yeah, 7 from Brownlee. <laughs> <laughs> Brownlee. And that's going to bring us to the end of this week's episode. Guys, thanks so much for listening in on this week's conversation. But you can do more than just listen. You can be part of the conversation by finding us online at Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at Rewind Guys Pod. That's R E W G U Y S P O D. Or email us at R E W G U Y S P O D at gmail.com and let us know what you think about this movie or any movie we've talked about here on the podcast. And I think I speak for everyone when I say I hope you join us next week. Jackie Chan is my favorite actor in the whole world. <laughs> I just want everybody to know that I have a deep, burning passion for this beautiful man.